Welcome back to our social media chat this morning on Morning Express. We'll have our phone lines on your screen. You can be part of our conversation. If you have a question for the Director of Digital Innovation and Diaspora, Dennis Situmbi, in the Uhuru administration, feel free to call in. Um, and of course, Joy Chalagat as well with us this morning. Um, We've many times been treated to conflicting information with the different accounts, especially in, on very important stories, breaking stories. This one says this, this one says this, and people wonder, um, you know, who to believe. And the problem doesn't also seem just to be even with social media. It's perhaps maybe in the entire government, but we engage you in social media uh, because communication and who says what. So who do Kenyans believe? Whose word is final? Why is that that kind of confusion? I, I think the last time we had that was during Westgate. Mm -hmm. Post Westgate, we intentionally got into an internal conversation through which we agreed on a few things. So you will see that in specific matters, you will get a certain account that is the authority on that matter. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the other accounts follow up. I think post Westgate, we've gotten that right. Maybe the new problem could be mm -hmm. that the accounts we have uh, say the same thing over the same issue over the same time. So you have, an, you have a, a big story that's happening and all the accounts are not giving a new angle to that issue. So that if it's, a, if it's drought in Trukana and uh, NDOC has tweeted, what is Tito saying? What is Ministry of Labor saying? Because all those accounts are involved in that but on their own angle. Mm -hmm. What is Ministry of Health saying they should be saying about vaccines for that place, about medicine that's going to that place? Are, there, are those angles really present in terms of social media the answer is no mm. but uh, that is now part of a strategy going forward and you'll see some you, you, you see quite some changes on that bit as i said the problem we have had majorly is because there has been no employment in government so and then the public service commission and uh, i credit the chair absolutely i she has my respect the scheme of service for this country does not recognize bloggers does not recognize digital strategists so Whereas, you know, when an engineer gets into government, they start on a certain grade. Mm -hmm. When a digital strategist gets in, what grade do you give them? When mm -hmm. a website developer gets in, what is their grade? And how far can they go? And then, and then when, when a blogger gets in, now bloggers, first of all, that is actually even a challenge. We've had some time to spend our own money when we have functions and we want to do live tweeting or to update our Facebook accounts. So those challenges are there. But uh, going forward, I think we have a solution. As government continues the debate on how to bring these guys on the scheme of service and the head of public service has committed to ensure that that discussion starts at PSC, mm -hmm. we've decided on our own front to to just begin to put in our personal resources for now mm -hmm. and bring in on board bloggers and uh, be start the, uh, people start uh, engaging with the public through government accounts through our delivery training system. Mm -hmm. We've conversed with the Kenya School of Government to be able to train bloggers to move from uh, to move from a free thinking to to a government streamline. So because there's some there's some language you don't use when you're when you're treating for government, which I can easily use on my account. And of course, that's on the other discussion. What what is the separation between individual accounts and institutional accounts? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Our argument is beyond our time in office, there will be institutional accounts. So there will be a president of Kenya. So do we need an account that specifically tweets for the president of Kenya, other than? you Kenyatta which now tweets for President Uhuru Kenyatta because once Uhuru Kenyatta leaves you live with you Kenyatta so it means the new person who comes in will have to follow the individual accounts so right now you start seeing some accounts that is specifically institutional President of Kenya on Facebook President of Kenya on, so that those are, it becomes an online museum mm -hmm. of tweets so that are associated to the institutions and that is why you have state house that is why you have PSU Digital that now is a home of government news. As I sit here today, I don't know what Ministry mm -hmm. of Agriculture is doing today. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Ministry of Environment is doing. So we have a new product there called GOK Docket, where the public communication officers are sending to us mm -hmm. more like, a, like the newsroom docket. Mm -hmm. Then you're able to tweet it away and Facebook it. So those are some of the challenges and some of the things you're going to do in terms of mainstreaming the message. You agree on a message and mm -hmm. the message is taken forward. You guys have uh, mentioned a lot in terms of structure and we've had this conversation about structures, you're putting the structures in place. One thing the Kenyans on social media have been doing is they tweet, you know, and it's not only to you guys, even to corporates. Guys send in a lot of information. The question is, are they being heard and what is being done about it? Mm. For now, yes, they are being heard. We would prefer they are heard at the point of service. Mm -hmm. So that if you're tweeting about Mm -hmm. uh, about crime last night, mm -hmm. you are heard at the point of service at the OCPD in the nearest police station as opposed to being heard at the interior ministry that is also dealing with policy. Mm -hmm. So mainstreaming the whole of that structure to have a person who is dedicated to that is where the problem is. And uh, 
we are working on it. It's, it's a bit, as I said, the only two. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just such a challenge. So, sometimes we go out of our way. That is why people who use social media at night and during the day, you will see the two of us all the way up to three or four. Mm -hmm. Because we have to, we don't want to go with backlog to the next day. And now we have introduced WhatsApp for state house. It's mm -hmm. crazy. We are having like 5,000 messages every day. And some of them need action like yesterday. So, and I, I, we, even our own conscience, other than our, the job that is a calling, we cannot allow us to make those things have another day without a solution. So, okay. I mean, and we also put Instagram. Mm -hmm. So now we also need to take those photos away from the mainstream photos, the photos that are just f uh, photos of the moment. So, the moment. so what I'm hearing with what you're saying is that you have all these social media outlets, you have all these platforms people can reach you, but it's not trickling down in terms of delivery, in terms of answering questions. For instance, the tendering site where the youth, you know, with their percentage, they're meant to get this procurement. Some of the key questions that the youth have is that when it comes to submitting the information, it doesn't go through. It brings in a message of error. So while you're present there and people can give in all this information online, when it comes to the final most important point to submit your information, you cannot do that. And also on the Facebook page, when they post questions, there's no response. Response. It's just updates of what, you know, this tender and this tender, but inquiries which people will have, you never get uh, questions answered. Now we're doing battle on interaction. Again, yeah. a question of stuffing. But, uh, well, mm -hmm. we, the, 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 there, is a, there, are, there are questions over a period of time mm -hmm. that are consistent and that we can be able to see a pattern. Yeah. Those questions you have provided answers. Some mm -hmm. of those people who have inboxed their numbers, we have called them back to tell them how to access that. So we, we, we've tried, I mean, given the capacity that we have had, we've tried our best. Mm -hmm. We, I mean, we must admit where things are not working. Our yeah. interaction is, I, I think even on it's our personal way. pages, we have a lot of interaction more than the institutional pages. Mm -hmm. But as I said, we have a solution now. We going not. We are not going to wait for government to get it. Like it's a bit impatient for some of us who have come from a situation <laughs> where you uh, you are used to get questions and answer them immediately. So we want that translated to institutional accounts, and mm -hmm. it will happen. Okay. Um, and quite a number of tweets, as you can see um, on our screen, some of the questions that are coming in. And perhaps before we go into even into some of this, um, there's a tweet, and I'll bring this up now because it's a story that also has been in the news um, of a CS Waigoro and the change in appointments. And when it was posted on the government's uh, Facebook, um, the post was pulled down of the picture of the president congratulating um, uh, the, the, the new boss at NYS. Why was it which was pulled down? Because numerous comments went in. Of course, most of them were negative. So do you, as a government, when you put your comments or post updates or developments or change of guard and it's not received well by the public, you pull it down? Why not leave it there? I actually love that question because I've always looked for that opportunity to rebut. Okay. <laughs> that post is not pulled down. Okay. We have used a Facebook uh, we, you know, Facebook provides you with very many, we, we rarely use 10% of our Facebook, mm -hmm. but it provides you with very many tools. We've just used a tool, hide from timeline. And the reason why it's been hidden from the timeline is because there's a social media policy. When President Yukineta got online, he mm -hmm. posted a social media policy. On that social media policy, I think it's 11 or 12, he says that comments will be moderated and then goes ahead and says where comments are of a national issue and therefore do not require moderation. Mm -hmm. and eventually turn into turn into an exchange that touches on tribe then the, the post would be momentarily hidden from the main to so that you are able to edit it but when you look at the comments they all failed the test so it is just hidden on the timeline you cannot what pull test down. want people speaking their mind because on social media one of the things about it and people love it so much is the liberal you know it's it's, it's a liberal place it's a place you get to speak your mind say your thoughts because i i don't get to see president kenyatta but i can tell him how i feel on social media so are you trying to say no, no, that no. you want certain no, no. kinds of comments made? no no, no. i mean we, i address a specific issue okay tribal exchange mm -hmm. i mean even you I, I believe social media is a conversation and it's a conversation at the heat of the moment. So you cannot edit a conversation. What I say now, I cannot be able to edit. I can only edit now when the editors in KTN go and slash what I said. Mm -hmm. But at the moment of speak, they cannot be able to edit it unless there is a delay. True. So in social media, it's the same thing. The exchange on that post, and I have a, we, we have mm -hmm. kept a record of it. The exchange was absolutely tribal. So we had two choices, to keep a tribal conversation going on on a president's page, or to hide it from the timeline and moderate it. Up to now, guys are commenting on that post, by the way. 
So by the time it was, by the time it was hidden from the timeline, it had uh, 6,400 comments. Yeah. Now it's doing 10,000 comments. So people are still commenting on it. But my issue is, you know, it's, it's one thing to run away from. For example, if I see posts that lean towards a tribal extent, for me, that, that is a symptom of a problem. Yeah. The problem is that there's a tribal kind of feeling or there's a, there's a kind of feeling amongst Kenyan people about maybe appointments or people still have very tribal sentiments. Wouldn't be the most prudent thing to find a way to create a solution for that problem uh, rather than dealing with just a symptom. Because what we've seen a lot is that people deal with the symptom. Mm -hmm. You know, we just deal with the symptom, deal with the symptom, but we don't deal with the root cause of the problem. Because it's such a problem that you're seeing it play out even in the political scene now with the impeachment <laughs> talk. So, yes, I get you're talking about there's a policy when it comes to the issues, but wouldn't it be good if the president now posted and said, I hear what you're saying. Like, comment on the real issue, on no, the did. way forward. We did. We, yeah? we admitted that we had hard Kenyans, that we were acting on it. Okay. But most importantly, guys, Yes. It is very crucial that you also deal with the symptoms. I mean, even when you have, mm. a, when you have an accident, there is first aid, then you go to the hospital. Okay. So the first aid is right from the timeline, and then from there you handle the issues. The issues are being handled. Mm -hmm. And that is why, even on terms of the discussion of uh, the appointments you're talking about, uh, mm -hmm. Cabinet Secretary Waiguru, uh, right now we have posted the entire postings and appointments in her ministry. Mm -hmm. And you'll be surprised. I encourage you to go on social media because it's now on both our individual and uh, official pages to show you that there has been a dis distribution of posts. Mm -hmm. But we are very quick to react without a comprehensive view of the situation. I agree. Government is also very slow to release information. Even for me to get that information long before, uh, to get that information so I can be able to rebut some of the issues becomes a problem. And yet I know when I have that information is able to react to some issues. Okay. So those are some of the challenges and we are, as we, we are assured and confident that in future there will be better speed in reacting to these issues. Okay, and we'll but we should allow. We mm -hmm. uh, I also encourage everyone using social media to have their own social media policy. Mm -hmm. What is that one thing that makes you delete a comment? Mm -hmm. Because Facebook has not has not provided the delete comment because it is it's for decoration. Mm -hmm. It is for use. Yeah. But what makes you delete a comment, especially okay. when you're a public figure? All right. So those are issues that we should consider. We should consider. And we'll continue talking to you in a short while. It is 8 a.m. We take a short break. We return to this conversation after the break.